boom, the Dow up nearly 144 points. D7 here with Rock Trade. On Wednesday, hump day, June 28th, 2017, and the markets go bullish. Spiders up almost a full percent. Dow, diamonds up 0.6%. NASDAQ, tech stocks up 1.4%. Small caps, Russell's up 1.5%. Same for the banks, same for financials. Wow, US dollar down 0.3%. Crude oil up over 1%. Gold break even. Silver, though, up nearly 1%. And fear drops by 9%. Okay, here we are looking at the S&P 500 daily chart. Yesterday it was quite a sell off. So um, that was Tuesday on Friday. I called it a buy. And Monday we popped up, 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 and then sold off. And then Tuesday, big sell off yesterday. Today we gap up, run higher. Oh, you hear this wind. I know you guys hear the wind. I have my office window open. It's just gorgeous here in the Midwest. I'm in Indianapolis. And guys, this is awesome, awesome weather. And that's what you're hearing. Okay. Um, and I hope that's not too distracting. Actually, I'm gonna try to block this. I'm gonna pause the video and shut my window. And I think that is better. I think that's better. Before I get into this, um, we're doing a one-on-one, -on -one, one on a small group coaching to really we're going to do three days we call it the three-day immersion program it's three solid days with us where we're going to be online helping you reach your full potential in the markets what i want you to do is go to grokatrade.com click on trading mentor fill out the form and we have a uh, three days coming up in july so it's next month it's a saturday sunday and monday and if you want to know more about that click on trading mentor okay at grocktrade.com. Oh, look at this nice pop higher. Yesterday, big fear, and then boom, diamonds go there. Yesterday, drop, boom, higher. Um, still have a buy on diamonds. Spiders, I still have a buy on that. NASDAQ, NASDAQ, have a sell on NASDAQ. Down, 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 down. We did rally up, then we drop. Oh, I got a tweak of these. Yes, ever so slightly. That's interesting. This could be a jab. I'm not going, I might be calling a buy on tech stocks if we have another rally going into tomorrow. Small caps, we're at resistance. I did have a buy on this one, but we're at resistance. Mm, oh boy, I said we should be going higher, and we certainly did do that. I'm going to get rid of that. And oh, I'm way late to the party on this call. But it's a buy. It's a buy. I'm late. I should have did that yesterday. Failed to get it on there yesterday. Oh, another buy. Another buy. But I'm going into resistance. But I have to do that. Okay. U.S. dollar. Have it a sell. And we oh we broke support on the U.S. dollar, guys. Big time sell in the U.S. dollar. Big time sell in the U.S. dollar. Let me see where support's going to be. Logical area support. Oh, we're right at it. We're right at it. Look at this. We're right at it. We closed right at support, guys. This is so interesting to see what will happen here. Look at this. Yeah, just slightly higher than that. Okay, I'm using trading view. Let's go to crude oil. Crude oil, whoa, I said look for it to go higher. Man, I am so late on my call on that. Oh, I'm just, I might have to add it. I'm just two days late on this. I, I hate that. All right, gold. Have a buy. Right after my buy, this thing crashed and burned. Now we're back over this area. Anyway, I'm gonna stay with my buy, but boy, gold has been a scary little seesaw. It was just crazy. Called it a buy, pulled back, but we're rallying. You know, silver's looking a lot better than gold at this moment, but both of them are you know doing a nice bounce. 
This could get bearish and quickly. You gotta watch out though. Gold and silver could get bearish. If we look here just momentarily at, this is the S&P 500 weekly chart. We went down, 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 but we came right back up. Do you see this? The bears had a chance. The next two days, if we can close above this, we're still out of the woods. But on the weekly chart, this rising wedge is very important to me on the weekly chart. It's building a high base. This could pop, but this is a rising wedge with the bearish divergence on the MACD centered oscillator. So, guys, I do expect it to drop. It's what it should do. The only hope that we have is this high base gives us a big, massive rally. And that means if we get a big, massive rally, next week we'll just be huge in the bullish category. Big bullish week, but if we don't, we continue to drop and we drop below this area, this trend line. That's going to be bad news. It's going to be bad news. Let me make sure I'm right on this. Go to a line chart, check this out. Do, do, do. Okay. Yep, that's where we're at. There's something to look for. Quickly, I want to look at. My tech stocks, tech stocks. I got some big winners. Apple, let's go to the daily chart though. Daily chart, expecting that to drop, which it still can, but today it was a nice bullish move. Amazon, nice bullish move. Let me see, do I wanna call a buy on Apple? Nope. I want to call by on Amazon. Oh, not yet. Baba. Continuing higher. Let's see if anything's jumping out at me. Whoa. NVIDIA, 3.5%. This one could start to go, but I'm not ready to call it a buy. Not yet. PayPal, 3%. Boom. PayPal, right into resistance. Not ready to call that a buy yet, but man, it certainly looks like it. Wow. PayPal's looking really good okay and there you uh, have it make sure to join us this coming or the next month for the three-day specialized training on trading to your full potential at rocktrade.com see you later